Well, I just recorded this video and realized about halfway through that the record light wasn't flashing. Therefore, nothing was being recorded. So after a dry run, I'm back to film the actual version. Grits is around, so if you hear some noise, it's because he's around, just messing with things. That's what he likes to do. Anyway, I'm back with the beauty favorites. I can't remember the last month. I did like a roundup of beauty favorites from the month prior, so I'm calling this Summer Beauty Favorites. Um, I might be back in August. I don't know. We'll see. I'm kind of just winging it. But I rounded up some of my favorite products from the summer so far, some things I've really enjoyed, and I'm going through them here with you today. Let's start with nails. So typically I wear a gel manicure, so I just pick a color at the nail salon. This one is called Lipstick. I don't know. I'm not familiar with the brand they used. Um, it was a brand I've never heard of before, but a nice soft pink. On my toes, though, I typically do those myself. Sometimes I'll get a pedicure, but they like both tickle and hurt, so I'd rather just polish my nails myself on my toes. Um, or my co-nails, as David would say. Um, with a C, like he says, oh no, my co-nail. My co-nail's ripped. I'm like, oh, I'll help you. And I don't correct him, like, it's co-nail here. So, and he calls his fingernails co-nails, too. They're all co-nails. Co on my co-nails, I've been wearing like one of these three shades. So the first is Peach Daiquiri. This is an older shade by Essie. I just found it in my closet. I was like, that's a really nice peachy pink. Um, the next one, and these two are from Essie's new summer collection. Buried Treasures, really nice hot pink. Also great on the nails. Um, and then the last one is Hiking Heels. This is, this wears quite red. It looks a little bit more like a true red in real life. It's not as much of like an orangey, fun, summery red to me but a nice change up from like a normal pink or peach color. I'm actually kind of excited to wear this in the fall too. So I think if it had a little bit more orange in it, it would feel a little bit more summery to me, but it's, it's pretty darn red. I shave my legs every single day, or every time I shower, which is just about every day. Um, and I have been using the EOS Evolution of Smooth Shave Cream in Tropical Fruit Scent. Um, I got this because it's all plastic and the normal like skin to mint, the most classic shave cream I think for any girl. Um, it has like a terrible metal or aluminum base and it just gets funky in the shower. So I was like, oh, this is all plastic. That's cool. I'll try it. The smell is nice. I'm not normally a tropical fruit kind of girl. I like fruity smells. It's nice. I probably won't buy this exact smell again, but I'll buy the EOS shave cream again because it's plastic. The pump is really easy to use and it pumps, it doesn't pump like a creamy conditioner type uh, consistency into your hand. It pump, it like pumps a moussey foam, which is kind of neat. So it's very similar to the shave cream you would get when you just press and hold like an aerosol can that it would come out of. Um, so I've been loving this this summer. I've gone through seasons of my life where I just skip shave cream altogether and I have like that Venus razor that has shave cream built in on the top and the bottom. I'm like, okay, am I doing overkill on shave cream here? But this just makes my legs feel so much smoother. I can't tell that there's 24 hours of deep moisture as it claims, but I don't, I don't have expectations that my shave cream will moisturize my legs for 24 hours. Certainly doesn't dry them out, but I use cream after I get out of the shower as well. Um, anyway, great shave cream if you're looking for something new this summer. So on my lips right now is Burt's Bees Fuchsia Flood, but another lipstick that I've been loving this summer is this cute one from Anthropology. My sweet friend Nicole gave me this for my birthday. The shade is Coral Rose, and it's a really nice coral rosy color. These lipsticks are just an in-house brand within Anthropology, and you may have seen me talk about, I believe it's just called Swan, a really nice, more peachy nude rose, not as corally as this one but I love the way these feel on my lips. They're, um, you could do like a really sheer light layer or you could swipe it back and forth and kind of build up the color a little bit, but they're great for summer. It's not like commitment lipstick, you know, like I'm having to look in the mirror. Like you can swipe this on without looking in the mirror and that's like easy to use, great for a casual summer day. I live in North Carolina and it's humid and it rains like every day at some point in the evening and it's so, Human until after it rains and after it rains that kind of like sucks the humidity out of there Anyway, the point of the story is to tell you KMS hair stay Anti-humidity seal is a must this lives on my bathroom counter. I use it every summer um, and summer for North Carolina is like 
April, May through November. So like the majority of the year <laughs> I use this. It does not offer any hold. It just offers humidity protection. It doesn't help very well in the frizz department, but it does help hold the shape of your style. So if you've taken time to like smooth through your hair with a flat iron or curl it, spray this on and your curls or smooth straight hair will last longer, like the shape, if you know what I'm saying. Um, but what I do is style my hair and then if I'm gonna use texture spray, I'll spray some texture spray in, then I'll do a bit of this, then I'll do hairspray to kind of finish the whole look and then another layer of this. So like I said, it doesn't offer hold, so I'm not layering like tons of holding products. And really it's kind of easier to not use a ton of hairspray in the summer. Just let your hair move and relax because you know it's going to. Um, but this just helps it last a little bit longer. It's not, it's not the kind of thing where your hair is exactly how it looks when you walk out the door because of the humidity. But there's a big difference on days I use this and days that I don't. I use a different SPF for my body. It's just, it's like 50 some aerosol can thing that I have. Um, but on my face, I've been using Tarte's Tarte Guard, and this is SPF 30. I got this last, yeah, it was last summer. Um, and used it a bit, and then I'm using it much more this summer, probably because we're spending a lot more time in the pool and I'm outdoors a lot more. Um, but it feels maybe a touch greasy, but I kind of let that slide with SPF. So it's hard to avoid a little bit of like that waxy, greasy feel. And correct me if I'm wrong and I'm missing something. I know another brand of SPF for the face that people love is Supergoop. And I've tried that over the years through like the Birchbox subscription. I would always get samples of the Supergoop. And I've tr I certainly tried it, but there was nothing that, um, nothing from Supergoop that I used that I thought, I definitely need that. Um, so the Tarte, Tarte Guard has been cutting it. I really like it. It doesn't leave like a white cast on your skin. Now I will say I haven't used it under like a full foundation makeup look because if I know I'm gonna be like outside, I'm, I know I'm gonna be sweating and or in the water, so I just won't wear any makeup. So I just use this on its own. Um, but it's been great. I've had no issues of like the sun getting through or getting burned even after using this. So great for me, face cream, or um, SPF. What am I saying? Okay. <laughs> so it's been a great SPF for the face for this summer. More often than not, I'm makeup free during the week. So I picked up the Maybelline Dream Bouncy Blush in, what's the shade here? Rose Petal. Uh, it's very subtle, very subtle. But what I like to do is if I'm not wearing any makeup that day, I'll just put a little bit of this on my cheeks and it's a cream blush. So I feel like that blends and looks, makes a little bit more sense versus wearing like nothing on my face than having a powder blush like only here and I'm usually outside so I feel like it would look funny if the rest of my skin was like glowing natural from like sweat and then you have these like round powder areas anyway I lean towards cream blush when I'm not wearing much makeup or anything else it just changes up it gives me a little bit of warmth to my face without going overkill but the Dream Bouncy Blush by Maybelline. These can be a little bit hard to find, but I, I used another shade like several years ago and loved the consistent, consistency, and I love the way it wore on the skin as well. So this has been a favorite this summer. For eyeliner, I have been dotting my lash line with liquid liner for a long time now just to add a little bit of extra impact right at the base of the lashes. But if I need another eyeliner to put like right over top of the liquid liner. I've been loving the Lancome Extreme Longwear Eyeliner in shade, oh gosh, um, Plu, is it Plu or Pluie? P-L-U-I-E. I'm going to say Plu because I think it's like French perhaps. Anyway, it's a really nice gray shade and it adds, it's like a nice true smoky gray so it adds definition without being like black line. And since I'm already putting the black liquid liner right on my lash line, I don't need like a ton of intensity. So this provides a little bit more definition without going overkill on the eyeliner. The last thing I want to tell you about is some chlorine products. I don't think I've ever used a chlorine product before, despite I've seen the line forever. I've just never tried it. Um, but they sent me their Reflex Blonde Collection. This isn't sponsored, but I have to tell you about it. There's one other product that comes in the collection and you spray it in your hair and then go out in the sun and it's supposed to lighten your hair naturally. That scares me to death. So I am not gonna try it. I, that, I'm just too scared. 
And also I color my own hair and I, it's already kind of fragile so I don't want to mess with it and I'm fine with the color how it is. Anyway, excuses, excuses. I did though, before I just refreshed my color as to what you're seeing now, I did use this. Um, so the shampoo is what I have here in the center. This is a vinegar um, shine rinse with chamomile and then this is the conditioner. So I use the shampoo which smells really nice, feels really nice. The only side effect I saw um, like negative, I guess, is it made my hair a little bit staticky, but it cleaned it and it felt really nice and fresh. Um, and then I did the vinegar rinse, which isn't an overpowering vinegar, vinegar smell, but there certainly is a vinegar smell to it, which is really off-putting. However, like press on, it's for a greater purpose it's to freshen up and brighten your blonde. Um, and then I finished with the conditioner, which felt really good. I need an excessive amount of hydration for my hair, just with its current state. So this wasn't as hydrating as I needed it to be, but for an average person who isn't too rough on their hair, this would be a great conditioner. Anyway, I immediately saw a brightness and like freshness to my blonde after I used these three and thought, well, that's nice. Like this is a great system to use if you are natural blonde and you just want to kick it up a little bit. It could be great too to use in the winter time if your hair dulls out a bit. Or if you are not natural blonde and just have blonde highlights or just lighter highlights, it doesn't have to be full on blonde, you feel like your hair's gotten a little dull, try this. It kind of cleans off any of the stuff that's dulling your hair out and restores some like blonde brightness back into it. So I really, really love it. I probably won't use it on the daily, but I could see myself using it once a week, maybe once every week and a half, just to like keep everything fresh and bright. Um, it also just made my hair feel really great. So if it didn't even have like the brightening side effects and just made my hair feel good, I would still use it. The vinegar rinse though, it's, it's, it's not terrible, but it smells a little bit. I don't know if I would use that as regularly, but the shampoo and conditioner duo, just to change up from what I usually use every day, will definitely be working into my system and my husband will kill me because I have so many shampoos and conditioners in the shower because I'm always trying something new and I need like a full on rack in there to keep track of everything. I've got my deep conditioner, I have my normal sh I have like two shampoos that I alternate, my normal conditioner, I have all my face products in there and now I'm gonna add this chlorine system in there as well. So, sorry hubby. Okay, so those are all the beauty products I've been loving this summer. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's nice to be back filming another favorites type video and um, I'm just gonna leave you hanging on when I'll be back. Un unsure. Sorry for my leave of absence, unplanned. Um, but yeah, these are things I've, I've really been enjoying this summer and hopefully it gives you a tip on something new that you could try yourself.